Minä olen Heidi Parmetalista ja tänään seuraani liittyy Wintersonin basisti. Jukka. too considered about that at least basically like I like kinder eggs and the and the whatever might pop inside an egg so basically I really don't I don't I haven't been following that and I haven't definitely been worried about any of the world because uh, well we, we definitely wouldn't have ended anyways because Winter Sun was sh sh once Winter Sun's show was going on we would have at least finished the show so um, this is the last gig of the North American tour. Yeah. How does it feel, and what was your impression of the North American crowd overall? Um, it's absolutely amazing. I mean, seriously, every show, no cliche whatsoever when it comes to my words. Everything is absolutely great. It's like all the shows are amazing. The response is exactly like it was today, for example, at its best. Uh, it really couldn't go better, really. It's like, we really didn't think that it's going to be like this. Definitely not. We didn't know what to think, of course, because we haven't been here before. Uh, but yeah, it great. couldn't go better. You, you've had a lot of sold out shows too, so I suppose it was a success. How many shows were sold out? Oh, um, I guess in the end, half of the shows of the tour were sold out, but I have to say that all the shows were very packed, so there were none we didn't play for empty halls or for half the people of the capacity or so. All the shows were very packed, but I'm, I'm not sure, but I guess it was kind of like 10, 11 shows which were sold out. Oh, wow. That's great. Um, of course, we were going to, uh, to be asking you about time to Thank you. 
song come from? Yeah, uh, speaking of influences, that's pretty understandable. Um, the Oriental, the Oriental sounding instruments in your music is very well implemented. Yeah. Do you think other influences will be incorporated as well in, uh, from other cultures, maybe somewhere in the future? Um, well, that's a good question. We uh, we have at the moment a lot of uh, stuff in our closet when it comes to new songs. And everything. Um, the time will tell when it comes to that. But I think it's a very, very nice that we have the Japanese cultural theme and the instruments over there because the melodies but the sound world is so strong that in a way it's just not the melody anymore. It really kind of shows a lot of emotion. Um, has anyone made any constructive criticism that was helpful after the release of Time One, which perhaps made Wonder something? Hmm, that's a great idea. We should do that for the next album. Actually, the thing is that, no, the feedback has been just like super duper positive. Oh, okay. And I haven't met a single person, and neither have you guys, someone who come and tell us that you should have done this in this and that way. And we, would, we might, might have been like, oh, maybe that might be a better way to do it. And I'm honestly still waiting for some bad reviews. I haven't seen any. Any. I just heard, heard a rumor that Polish Metal Hammer gave the album one out of five. I have no idea. I would love to read it. Yeah. I really, really, please someone send us shitty, yeah. shit mail or something. <laughs> no, okay, there were some comments like, oh, uh, Time One sucks so big time because there's only one guitar solo and no riffs. Uh, whatever that means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But basically, like, yeah. Please, so, negative feedback, welcome. Right, right. So, of course, I have a very generic question here for you. When can we expect time to exactly? Um, well, now, actually, the tour has basically ended. Um, from January till May, Yari will actually start mixing time too. Time too, and uh, then we're gonna master the album, and uh, hopefully we will release time to at the end of next year. If it will be a bit delayed, then it's gonna be early 2014, like very early in the first few months. Um, so that's the plan at the moment, the rough plan. Uh, uh, surely a lot of fans will be excited. So my next, my next question is, we've seen the licks and tricks on the bonus DVD. Have you considered maybe releasing a more in-depth instructional Winter Sun DVD? Good idea. Actually a good question and a good idea. Mm. We've been thinking about it, but um, uh, no plans at the moment, at least not yet. Maybe there will be some, some kind of similar um, in-depth playing this and that like we have in time one. We will see. We still haven't decided. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of your fans are yeah. waiting for that. Um, and I understand you're going to partake in a lot of big events next year. What other events will Winter Sun be participating, participating in in 2013 that has not been mentioned on your website? What is next for Winter Sun? Well, we will see that as well. We don't know that either yet. Because yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, there are still more shows summer festivals coming all the time and uh, uh, we're waiting for more offers to come and um, basically what we're gonna start doing a lot of festivals as much as possible the whole summer and then hopefully next fall um, we might we might do uh, Asia South America oh, wow. but there's Where nothing hopefully a few shows in China and, and Japanese shows at least mm -hmm. I don't know, Taiwan might be one option, yeah. but we will see that later um, when something um, something in practice we can see. More the solid. Yeah. Right. yeah, it makes it sort of makes sense for Taiwan because they have a big growing metal scene over there at the moment. Mm. So, is there any chance you will be playing Beautiful Death and Sadness and Hate at those festivals since you haven't really played those two songs live on this tour? That's true. Uh, we've been trying to play as many songs as possible, and uh, of course.
were beautiful days. I said this, I hate our very long songs. Although, I have to say that now we start our show, uh, set, set with the Sons of Winter and Star, which is <laughs> the longest song easily. Yeah. Right. But um, I hope in the future we will, we will definitely vary our set, make changes here and there. Because, like, for example, this tour, we've been chasing battle against time and winter manners almost by every show. Oh, switching it up. Yeah. So we will definitely, definitely do that in the future. Thank you for that. Uh, of course, we're, cr Christmas is also coming up. Uh, how will Winter Sun celebrate Christmas? Mm, going home, being with our families and relaxing and starting to focus on mixing time too mm -hmm. and being on schedule and releasing in a year. <laughs> Not in eight years. Exciting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. So here's my last question for mm -hmm. you. Anything you'd like to say to the fans, perhaps a uh, Merry Christmas greeting? Well, totally Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to everyone. And especially, uh, we're so anxious of starting uh, finalizing time two. And we promise you guys we're going to be on schedule. But you have to know that Winter Sun is not making any compromises, so we want to come out with the best album possible. But um, this time everything looks very nice and it's so great to be on the road and share uh, amazing moments with you guys. So you make us very happy, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Voices? What's that? Three D voices recording. <laughs> yeah, because I am very paranoid. <laughs> Finish. You're finished, fine. Understood everything completely. Totally fine. Yes.